How scary is that? Halloween used to be scary, and now it's an excuse for uh, for men to wear wigs and pretend to love each other. Is that where we're at right now? I think so. This is a topical outfit. People love to be topical on Halloween, and we know current events, of course. Mm-hmm. And what are we? Justin we're Bieber and Travis Haley Bieber. Co- Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber. No. What? You told me that that's what I was supposed to be. I want to be. I want to be Justin. You are supposed to be. Do you think you're Haley Bieber? Are we uh, doing a? Uh, is there a multiverse here where there's an affair between Haley Bieber and Travis? Uh, in a different universe. In a different universe. You're right. We're ch- we're Haley Bieber, Bieber and Travis, and Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. Controversy. TMZ. Come on. You actually can because the outfit, you you look identical to, to, to Taylor right now. So, so I heard that this is the dress that she wore after she broke up with Harry Styles. It's the literal one. We ordered it. It was like $700. And that was her last relationship? I can't, I can't remember how many no. she's been in. Are you slut shaming? Swizzle? No, I just don't. I don't know what her last one was. It Harry Styles. It's now. It's here and now. Star football player, quarterback Travis Kelsey. <laughs> it's like I know you're 24 or whatever. 25. How old are you? I'm 24. Jeez, you know. I know 24 year olds in jail. You need to step it up. Mm-hmm. You, you need to show us that you got. Some experience points here. You you should have seen how excited he was, and I was like, "You get to wear a wig today and a dress." No, I was ecstatic because it's like the, I, you had lipstick on already. I didn't even know. No, I would wear a dress and a wig, you know, if it wasn't Halloween. But I was, it was just out of fear of judgment. But now today's like an excuse. Now I can put on a dress and and a wig and and feel comfortable. Yeah, that's good. I no one can really make fun of me. I mean, how can you make fun of this? Are you drinking your protein shake? Did you just get back from a um a what, what a football game? Football game. I have to be hydrated. I gotta. I can't let this interfere. This is Athletic Greens for athletes like me. I'm Travis Scott. Travis. <laughs> but you keep name? saying Travis Scott. T- okay, let's be honest. Taylor Swift would never date Travis Scott. Come on. I don't know. Pop and hip hop. Don't that put doesn't that. Mix. Pop and hip hop. All you're missing is the hip, and Haley's got it, or Taylor's got the hips. <laughs> all right well look i'm just happy to be here and then i'm happy to do a couple's costume with you in in it well not a couple's costume but like a uh a fr- what is it called when friends friends friendly a friends costume, costume. Yeah. a friendly costume that's all it is yeah you know I, I had to get permission from your girlfriend mandy and she said this is weird why are you why do you hang out with him so much i'm worried that he likes you more than me mm-hmm. then i was like all right all right all right that's enough. Yeah, no, she does get a little bit jealous sometimes that I spend so much time with you. But well, I mean, with all the stuff that we have going on, we have the podcast, we have slushy noobs. I mean, how could I not spend time with you? We're building our empire, and we gotta, we gotta. I mean, this is what it is, and this is part of it. You're seeing, you're seeing. This is the early stages of it. You have to do these crazy stunts. You have to do this. This is all for. I mean, come on, like this is gonna be pasted everywhere. You gotta articles. step it up. Topical, trendy costumes. People, a lot of people asked us, what's a, a fun meme to do? Some people did like Free Shavaka do. Some people did Haley's uh, Bieber. Some people did Inside Jokes, Vines. Gay monkey, Apple Store. I've seen a gay monkey here and there running around scurrying. No, back to the basics, all right? We got celebrities loving each other, and that's what we want. We aspire mm-hmm. to be them. They're our gods. No. How long were you in this getup to get into the mind? The character. Of Taylor, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I woke up this morning. I, I put the wig on. Mm. That's how I assume people who wear wigs do it. They get up and I don't, they don't go to sleep in their wigs, right? Some do. Some people, they want to look good for for their, they want to be ready for their dreams. Okay. Okay, so I'm a little late. Yeah, I woke up a little bit late, and then I put my wig on. And it's 7 o'clock, so... Yeah, I walked around with my wig. I got my dress on. Um, I looked in the mirror, did my daily affirmations. You are beautiful. You matter. Mm. Um, I wrote a song about my ex. Wow. And then now I'm here. Now I'm here, and I was just waiting for my BF, Travis, to come 
to come home. I came and I came in an Uber and I gave him five stars. Nice guy. Because my car battery. Because <laughs> my car battery died because I left the light on last night looking for my phone under the under the. It slipped in the crack. Sorry, Travis, what car do you drive? I thought you, you drive like an expensive one. Um, You know, I'm in between contracts right now, so I'm, I'm with my... It's a trusty 2012 Civic. You know, you can't go wrong. Great mileage. Reliable. Eco-friendly, of course. But mm. not so reliable this morning. So actually, the Uber driver, I asked him to come down. My car is in underground parking. So I said, can you come? Can, can, you, can you come down here? I got a jumper cable. Can you come down? And he's like, whoa, whoa, I don't speak English. And I'm like, ah, come here. Can you jump my car? I'll give you five bucks. And he said, Travis Kelsey, don't you have enough money? Don't you have enough money to go and get an Uber and go and tip me more than one dollar? I brought him down and he's like, I know nothing about cars. And try to guess where this guy's from, because I keep flipping here on accents here. Where he's from. Where he's from. He's from Toronto, but is there his ethnicity. And, um, I, and he said, I know nothing. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm maybe gonna Ethiopian? I had an Ethiopian Uber driver no. once, and we talked about the weekend the entire time. Really? Yeah, because the weekend is Ethiopian. <laughs> good, paused. good catch. Almost good catch. Good catch. You go right here, man, okay? Um, it's giving 101 Dalmatians over here. No, he's been a he, bad boy lately, for sure. He has. But the Uber driver came down, and I said, pop your, pop your frunk, boy. Didn't, didn't white boy M say frunk. that? Frunk. What, what did white boy pop M say? Pop your frunk. He said, pop what's in the frunk? I don't know. Let what me he just said. pop my frunk. That's what <laughs> white boy M said. And um, he's, he's a hybrid. So mm -hmm. I was like, no, I'm sorry, man. I mean, what are you doing driving a 2023 hybrid? As you know, I, I don't know how much Uber drivers make, but I'm not, you know, I'm Travis Kelsey and I can't do, I'm not hybrid. I'm not there yet. I'm sitting here guzzling gas, carbon emissions, like just like my girl Taylor over here. Mm -hmm. Taylor, well, I take jets everywhere. Um, I've been telling you. I have a you. show actually. Maybe it's about a couple kilometers away, so I think I'm going to take a private jet. <sighs> I can't. I have to get there quick, and I have to get there in style. It's part of my brand. Taylor, I know you're timely. You're known for being timely, and you care about your fans, and you want to be there. Mm -hmm. But... Did you know that when you take that private jet for just a couple kilometers, you are shortening the life, the collective lifespan of the human race? I know that, but I'm also making everyone's days better as well because I'm providing entertainment, endless entertainment and music. I'm just, I just am re-recording my song with Kendrick Lamar, Bad Blood. You know that one? Oh yeah, that one's good. That Come one. on. The music video for that one is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. I think Cara Delevingne was a spy or something, man. How did you get Cara Delevingne in your music video? Is that Money. where you peaked? Money talks. Look, honey, I love you and everything for sure. But, you know, even me, I got games across the country. I wouldn't take a private jet for, for even from well, you're LA just a to New York. small town boy. I, I, I was a small town girl once, but I got past that. I'm now in, I'm in the industry. I can't I can't shake this out of me now. I have to take private jets everywhere. I have to keep all my money to myself. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just be the bridge. But think about the Amazon, and how when you take those flights, there are little tree frogs dying, suffocating. What do you think about that, Taylor? Well, I'll write a memoir or something, or I'll I'll maybe I'll write a song about them. And maybe the proceeds from that song will go in. Don't and I'll donate it to the Amazon rainforest. Okay, this is a step in the right direction. Can you give us a snippet of what the what the frog song would sound like? Mm, okay. Walking through the Amazon, thinking about how we used to do the same thing together. Whoa. I'm looking at all the tree frogs falling one by one from the branches because of my polluting. Whoa. I don't think it's as bad as other people have. I, I don't think it's as bad as other celebrities. Like maybe Drake. But it's still a lot, Taylor, and you should calm it down, right? But if you think about it, and I'm providing entertainment for millions, so maybe it's worth it. Ooh, oh, oh. I mean, you think you'd sneak my, my ad libs in there? I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know. 
This could be my debut. I'm hearing that he is going to be on the next album. Like, wow. Either she's going to write about him because they break up, or no, I'd love to see inshallah him. Inshallah, they stay together, and then wow, maybe that he's going to be doing ad libs. I'd like to. I would like him to stay. I think you know. In the beginning, I really saw this going. You know, Aaron Hernandez, OJ. I saw something in his eyes that was worrying me. Or I am him. It's me. Sorry. Um, I thought about killing Taylor for a little bit because it was like, you know, one messed up touchdown, hit my head the wrong way. I come home. Taylor could look like the enemy. You know, I don't mm-hmm. know. That's why I worry about Taylor. I worry about her safety and having a man that's that strong. You know, I kind of miss when she just dated short, skinny white men. That way I know that she could take him out in a fight. Mm-hmm. You know, who's that guy from the 1985 Harry? Um, I think so. Yeah, Harry. There was another one who looked like a goblin, man. I forget his name. You know the one? He had a Transylvanian kind of hairstyle. The guy that spat in people's mouths? That's Youngblood. Taylor Swift did not date Youngblood, and I want to get that clear right now before anyone gets confused. Speaking of spitting in people's mouths. Oh, Segway King you, over here. You you came into controversy with someone named by the name of Kevin. You want to explain Stop, that? Stop, bro. Don't do that. I'm Travis. I don't know who Kevin is. I don't want to platform people. You know, I'm focused on the ball. I'm focused on the game. But you're not gonna let people know what happened. You you. It was one of the biggest events. It's your first ever beef, internet beef, and you're not even gonna address it. Look, my buddy Hamza, he's this guy. He has this podcast. Um, really funny guy. Hilarious. He's uh, He got quoted. He got clip chimped. And, um, you know, it's actually kind of funny. I really didn't mean any harm. I'm super anti-confrontational. You know me. Mm-hmm. I can't. It's not that I can't. It's just that I don't want to. Because I le- kind of learned. I never cared about it. But there's something scary about having a platform and then having people who are preying on your downfall genuinely Mm -hmm. like lurkers who are like, Ooh, yeah. When something happens, Oh, I I cannot wait. I don't know how people live with that underbelly of people. You know, they they just have a, I don't know how people do it. I need a goodbye. I need to shake hands with everybody. It's, Mm -hmm. it's, it's probably childhood trauma. Maybe I got hit in the head playing, doing a touchdown or something. Clip gets a me calling Kevin, you know, female gaze guy, say he looks like a lollipop that dropped on the ground. And I ca- and then I say we are not the same because he committed crimes. He messages me. He's very angry. And honestly, honest to God, I'm like, oh, man, I'm sorry because I called him ugly. Mm-hmm. That's not nice. No, that was that was probably the least nicest thing you could have said. It's not nice. I'm not one to call people ugly, you mm-hmm. know. And honestly, my head will, will look like a lollipop that dropped mm-hmm. pretty soon here. If you guys have been tracking my hairline. Yeah, it's kind of like you're allowed to dish those. Oh, okay. We, we can go that route maybe okay, in a couple sure. of years. But even that, it's not nice. Oh, f- dude gets pissed about me calling him a criminal. <laughs> that killed me. I was like, okay, man. What, you can call me ugly. You could say I'm hideous. But I'm not a criminal. I'm not a criminal. Obviously, you're not a criminal. You idiot. You're not a criminal. I'm, I'm saying your cringy TikToks are crimes. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Do we got to make these steps, Taylor? Taylor. Sing Listen, a song. Kevin. Sing a song. pathetic dweeb. Whoa, Don't ever oh. come for my friend ever again. Oh, shoot. I said no confrontation. Your days are numbered. Watch it, pal. I said reel it back. Look, I just had to defend my friend. You want a response, Kevin? That's your response. They want it. And then he and then he posted uh, like 60 seconds of him in the car after the gym, disavowing me and saying I needed to do better. Yapping. That's what it was. And then right after, he posted a slideshow about Palestine. So it's all, everything's flipped upside down. The world's priorities, I mean, look, am I the criminal? Now, there's criminals in freaking Israel, man. Yeah. Those the IDF. Yeah. Go get the IDF, man. Don't come after me. Hey, yeah, man, it's all, it, you know, it's the jokes. You know, some some people get offended at jokes and, you know, some people make bad jokes sometimes, right? Some people make jokes about beating their pregnant I just, girlfriends. Whoa. Who said that? 
I never Mr. said that. Mr. Kevin. Oh, he did. <laughs> Well, that's I, I'm really not here. I don't even care for that. I don't care. I really don't care. No, this is this is because it's, it's our first ever. It's our. I'm including myself. What are you I'm doing? I'm including myself. <laughs> I, I want to be in it. All right. I'm your girlfriend. I'm supposed to defend you. No, no, it's really not even me, bro. This is hilarious. It's just, I just promo. I'm not even like being. I don't even like being mean. I really don't even like. Being, I do. <laughs> even to people who deserve it, I'm like. There's other people who do that job and they do it better than me. I'll be mean out there. I'll, yeah. You know, I'll score touchdowns. I'll be the, I'll be America's sweetheart. All right. No, Come from on. this point on, we go our separate ways. You know, we do our own thing. He does his own yeah, thing. Yeah, I know. That's it. And hey. this is a fun, this is a fun we fling we best. had. We really do. You know, back in uh, 2020 or 2021, TikTok room had, uh, I don't know if you were there for this, but they had awards, they had an award ceremony. Oh, really? And they, and they elected people. And I was in the running for multiple awards, but the award I got closest to that I got second place for. Oh my God. I'm, yeah, you, you're. <laughs> what am I doing? You've been doing that the entire time, and I just realized how much it spread. Why are my. Ah! You're okay. a face toucher. This is like proof. Well, it's that itchy. You touch it's your face. literally itchy. I, what I put on my face, I could never do makeup, man. I mean, but maybe I could if it makes me, if it does enough for me. What was I? What was I saying um, about that? TikTok Room? About how they? Yes, I was elected, and um, I was in the running for the award most unproblematic creator. Mm-hmm. You know who sniped me by a freaking person by a point or two? Only JS. No, no, uh, Jack Wright. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. No, not okay. Oh, not okay. Who's more problematic, me or Jack Wright? Be honest. Jack Wright, you pathetic dweeb. Stop. I'm saying we're not. Co- I'm talking about my role is unproblematic, Taylor. You are problematic. You gas guzzling jet fuel spit in fire. I'm an burning. instigator. I love instigating. I love seeing beef between two people. And then I'm. I, that's why I asked about the beef because I want you to see. All too well. I am. A, wait, is that what it is? A gas? I throw fire into the flame. Through the fire in the flames. Is that a song that Taylor wrote? No, that's Adele. Set fire in the rain. Set fire to my rain. I want to see. I want to actually see some of Taylor's hits. Can I? I mean, I I know you're my girlfriend, and I know them all, of course. But what's the one? I need. I just need refreshers. Do you think he listens to Taylor's music? Honestly, yes. It, I looked into it. He's been chasing this one for a while. It's not, it wasn't some accident okay. he, he slipped into. What's your favorite song to perform, Taylor? Um, Let's see. I love Teenage Dream. Teenage Dream, the way you turn me on. That one? Is it that one? I don't know if you did that one. Um, I can't what about? Tell. I don't know it, but it's, it's sounding like Katy Perry right now. Okay. Okay, dang. We must have the same writer. Um, maybe the one with um what's the one? God is a woman no, and uh-uh. I that one? God is a woman. You believe God, God is, is a, a woman. woman. Ah no. That was um Ariani. Ariana. Ariana. <sighs> Twenty two. I know that one. 22. Oh my god, I remember that one. I wrote that when I was 22. Yeah, I mean, in a celebration of turning 22. Let's see the lyrics for 22, because that was... That was a time. I mean, who were you I dating? Know the li- you're going to look up the... I know the lyrics. You know, all right, try. 22. I'm 22. I'm feeling 22. 22. All right. In 2022, those born in 2000 would be 22. That was the lyrics. It feels like a perfect night. Oh, I did change it before I released it. You're right. To dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes. It feels like a perfect night for breakfast at midnight. Okay. To fall in love with strangers. Yeah. Yeah. We're happy, free, confused, and still lonely at the same time. It's miserable and magical. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You cooked this one up. You did cook that I one up. I did, I did. That was me. That was me. That was me. That was me. Oh, man. We didn't even know. We, we forgot about We forgot about this for a second. 
I was about God. to be like, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm about to turn this into a musical. Um, Woo. Ooh, wow. Woo. Oh my God. Good thing I put some deodorant on. Keep those legs crossed, performing, girl. Performing, <laughs> performing gets you sweaty, though. It does. Uh, it does? What's Do you your... want to know how I got started? I used, to, I used to perform in my bathroom with my hairbrush. Is that right? Yeah. Like, ah, like that. Ah. That's going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Is it better? Here we fix go. Fix it. Fix it. That's fine. Yep. That's it right there. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I think this is really fun. I love letting go and just, um, you know, get your white woman on. I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, you know, you, you're really in there right now. It's just like, we're happy, free, and miserable at the same time. And confused. I'm confused. And confused at the same time. We don't know. We don't care. We don't Israel, care. Israel, Palestine. This is fun. We don't know. We this don't know. This is fun. This is the fun stuff right here. Yeah. Dressing up, Halloween. Everyone forgets where we are for a second. And hey, everybody, let's dress up in goofy costumes and have fun. Let's pretend like we're people who, we're n- who we'll never be able to be. Yeah. Let's pretend like we're Taylor Swift. Just for a day. And we work at, I don't know, Kroger. Kroger. <laughs> Kroger, um, yeah, I mean, no offense if you work at Kroger. I love Kroger. Y'all don't have an, a quote Kroger equivalent up here. But um, yeah, no, we don't. It's okay. I mean, look, I knew, it was, you know, when I bought my Honda Civic, oh my God, this is going full circle. I'm dipping between Hamza and Travis here. But when I bought my Honda Civic, I bought it from an old Irish man mm-hmm. named, forget, Irish people screw up their names. I hate that. Y'all don't do your, no. The letters, have you ever seen how Neve is spelled? Scariest thing I've ever seen. Please. Anyway, he pulls up in the Civic. I fall in love. I say, can I buy it off you, champ? He says, actually, yes. I'm looking to upgrade. Sells me the car. Soon as I get in, music starts to play. I haven't plugged in my phone. I haven't Bluetoothed it. It's the album Red by Taylor Swift. CD, digital CD. This 40-year-old Irishman lives alone, had one thing in this car that he, and I'm, I'm sure he misses it, was this was the album CD. Oh, my God. And whenever I am, wow, oh, oh, whenever I'm back to the basics, I don't have internet, I don't have, I'm in the middle of nowhere, I'm driving through wilderness, I have a CD, we're back to analog. Mm-hmm. I can't Spotify anything. Actually, I can, you can download music, but. We go back raw to the CD, and I play. I play Taylor. So, so in a way, you are my rock. Mm-hmm. You know. No, you are too. You are. You are my rock. You're. I feel like I could just be protected by you because I mean, come on. You play one of the most aggressive sports in the world. I do, but I'm a tight end, so it, the position it involves. You know, I have to be someone who's able to make plays, but also allow my teammates to make plays. You know. Okay. Well, are you a player though? That's something I need to know before we get on serious. the field or on the uh, with women. Well, yeah, with women. I need to know that. Look, I try to keep my job separate from from what I do day to day. I try to play hard and then I work hard, you know. Mm -hmm. So the playing mostly in theory is on the field. But look, wow, dude, I swear if that if you just blur it out. What's the time? I don't. Did it really slip? Maybe. I don't want people seeing my bulge. What bulge, boy? There's nothing in there. You just see like a wiener You're slip right. out. I have it tucked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fish, bro, breathe, <laughs> breathe. Um, yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't cheat on you, Taylor. I mean, okay. obviously, I don't. I don't see what, what I could cheat up to. What's up next? Yeah, right. What's better than me? I don't know. No one's no okay. One's. Well, if you had to date another pop star, who would it be? Claro. Wow, wrong answer. You're supposed to say no one. Oh, shoot. Ah, it's one of those boyfriend-girlfriend tricks. Sorry. It's, I'm new to this, okay? It's been a while. I've been barren for a while. I haven't been, uh... And I'm Claro, really? Look, I know she's an industry plant. I know her daddy's a, you know, executive at Sony, but pretty girl comes on, and I have to. You're just trying to start your own music career. That's what you're doing. You're trying to date me so that you can get in touch with some executives. 
That's what you want. You want to start your own career. What are you trying to do? Hip hop? I want to start a band. With an all female band where I'm the lead and I'm the lead female. Lead the females. Because that's what the female movement needs is a male leader to really shape it mm -hmm. up, give it some direction. I think it would be you. Obviously, I'd be sleeping with all of you at the same time so no one feels left out. Taylor Swift on the drums. Clara on, um, what does she do? Vocals? Okay. She could be background vocals. I'm main vocals of, of, of. And um, probably Dua Lipa will just dance. Um, Dua Lipa, I knew you had it out for her. I knew you, I knew you wanted her. Just dance. She's not. She doesn't get to play an instrument like you. It's a, it's a hierarchy. Well, and it's I, funny because you're trying to choose all these different pop stars. Do you know how many choices I have of footballers? Do you know how many people are trying to be a football player? I can choose any one of you. You guys are all the same. Shaved head, bulky, skinny fat. They don't have the smile. You're right. It, it, it is you the back. smile. It brings you back. It brings all right. You back. It is the smile. It is the smile. You're right. It's the smile. It's Travis the Kelsey, your smile is can seriously light up a room. It brings you back. You know, your worries are gone. And, you know, it's like, hey, I don't have to think for a moment. I'm Taylor. I'm always being the leader, the one who has to make the calls. When you're with me, sweetie. Well, you're not Taylor. You're Travis. Or, oh, I'm, I'm imagining to be, you know, what you think. Okay. But when you're with me, I am Travis. Let your worries be free. You're right. It brings me back to when I wrote my first album, My, my Red December. My Red December. Remember that one? That one was that was the first song I ever wrote back in my own home country of Nantucket. <sighs> the, the little breeze in between the, the willow trees. The breeze in between the willow Remember? trees. Remember? That's the, where I had my first kiss with my boyfriend. His name was Travis. My first boyfriend, his name was Travis. Wow. Too. He was a football player at my at high school when I was in high school. What? Yeah. Am I? Wait. I don't want to be some sort of no, no, no. fantasy. No, it's not like I'm trying to relive crush. my... No, no, no. Of course not. Because you're you're better than he ever was. He only made it to... Well, he was trying to get into college and then he dropped out. Yeah, and he was what? 17? Yeah. So he wasn't going to amount to anything. So How I old was he? How him. old was he? You're scaring me. How old was he? Well, we were both 17. Okay. Yeah. Now that we've got that cleared up... We're in this happy relationship now, and, and we're, it's probably going to go for years from now. So I'm really happy, and then we're going to have famous kids like the Kardashians, and it's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah, I, I can already. I'm thinking of baby names. Um, <sighs> mm, if it's a girl, what do, you, do you want a girl or do you want a boy first? Well, anything. It's fine if it's a boy, girl, whatever, right? Like it doesn't. Oh, now they got stuff in between. I mean, yeah, so it doesn't right matter for me, me. Yeah. As, long as, as long as the child is famous and making money. Um. Yeah, we can work that out. I mean, maybe on the field or vocally. I don't really. Yeah, I'd care. like them to be a singer, though. You know what I would name it? What? Mm. Vain. 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 And how would it be spelled? Like a vein, like a arm vein? No, like bane, but vain. Oh, I like v -A -N -E. that. V a n e. It's like, and it also works for a boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. when it comes up because that's something that's a four letter thing it's kind of a final boss mm -hmm. sort of name it's like i'm going i'm going i'm going to uh going to scotia bank arena vein is in town mm -hmm. i like i like the name jiminy Whew. i think jiminy would be nice for or boy something. or girl for boy or girl well both it's interchangeable and then your last name is kelsey so maybe something to match up with that um, oh maybe kelsey kelsey that would be fun. That's a fun name. Kelsey Kelsey. Yep. We're going to have a daughter named Kelsey Kelsey. It's like, hi, my name is Kelsey Kelsey. Wait, your first or your last? Shut up. Shut up. My dad is Travis Kelsey. My mom is Taylor Swift. I said Kelsey Kelsey. You know who I am. I could put you in the dirt. That's what they would say. They could. could. I have I've mob ties. I've got jets going with no one in them right now. Fuel. I'm just Polluting burning. the world. I don't care. Our son would be a demon or daughter. Excuse me. I mean, yeah. We don't care. And she, would and she would take a private jet to daycare. Oh, yeah. Because why, why would we drive? We would parachute that baby off of a 707. I don't care. We're extraordinary. We live extraordinarily. What would Kevin, what would Kevin do? www. Well, he would be better. Do better. That's what he told you to do. Have you been doing better? Taylor, Travis, have a conversation. You're Taylor. I'm Kevin.
Taylor. I'm noticing you're I'm noticing you're emitting a lot of carbon dioxide. What's wrong with you? You you make some of my favorite songs. I love your songs. Why don't you do better? Yeah, you love my songs. Okay, then post a thirst trap using one of my one of my sounds. I need promotion for my new album. I'll do it, but can I do a actor versus a not actor? You can do whatever you need to. I just need the views, Kevin. Just go do your job. Go post a, a reel or a TikTok, please. Okay, and then you'll stop emitting carbon dioxide. Sure, whatever. So you're telling me your whole your whole career rides on me. Yes, sure. Whatever whatever will get you to post. Kevin, go back. Go just go go you're back to work. You're saying you need me. Yes, Kevin, fine. I need you. I need you to promote wow. music for me. Because Taylor. your TikToks get the most views, your your thirst traps, your death stares, whatever you call them, your dead eye stares. Yes, you know me. You know what I do. I Taylor. know you. Of course, I've seen you. I remember you, were the, you are the female gaze. I'm going to write a song about you. We're happy, freaking famous <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Um, no, I'm, I, I'm not really not poking fun, man. It, it, you know. I am. I don't know. Yeah. All it's right. all fun and games. Come on. This is the internet. This is the internet, man. You put yourself on the internet. Come on, wait. We're hey, Kevin. Come on, fire some shots at us too. Let's go. Easy, lots of shots here, man. You probably got to pick up his. We bulge. need something in our lives, man. Come Life's on. boring, bro. <laughs> it really does get boring, man. This is when we're supposed to start beef song in the life cycle. That's why. That's why I, I've jumped at this. I was like, this is awesome. This is out of character promotion. We need this. We I'd say I don't care. I'm itching. I don't care. Okay, if you're that itchy, man. Well, don't spread that too much. <laughs> stop stop it i'm not even doing that i'm trying to i'm gonna get it off my finger so that <sighs> what what do you look don't look You've at covered me covered about i don't know 29 percent of your face taylor so don't look at me like that now nah, we're fine come on man you know i have we're a music fine. career i can't have you we're fine this is how it is in the actual heat of battle stuff gets mixed this around is, this is our first controversy Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> That's my favorite part of it. Oh yeah! I know yeah. she hit that. So, oh my god! I wonder how many. T I wonder how long it takes her to make a song in the studio because it sounds like it's just perfect. Um, Every honestly, time. I saw a clip of her in the stew cooking, and that and it took so fast. It was so fast because she rhymes car with bar. Have you seen a compilation of how many times rhymes car with bar? Wait, is this for real? Um, my mama, dude. Look, it's at pop this. music. It's simple. And I think it's awesome. No, we're in a, we're, we're in a new bar. wave though, where there is like more complex pop music. Yeah, way like more he, complex. Um, I don't know, but um, but her she's just so good at at getting those radio hits, getting that radio play. That's like that's a talent in itself. How can you like hit after hit? Like you just can't. And people hate on it, but it's a big part of it is nostalgia. You know, you mm -hmm. listen to Taylor, it's like watching BoJack for the know third who time. Taylor is come on, everyone knows who Taylor is. Yeah, Ke Travis Kelsey. Well. I do. I know. I've known you for a while, of course, and I've always had a crush on you. You're my first crush. You know, I don't look at any other women but you. Oh man, mm. lipstick stain on the on the cup. Is this Ooh. what girls have to go through? This is picturesque. Here we go. Uh, you could have shaved for this, honestly, but fine. Really, you're gonna tell a woman to shave? Low. Interesting. <sighs> Travis, I know you're a small town boy, but. This is Hollywood, and this is a new new area. Uh, things are improved. Things are all right, all right. Different from where you grew up. Where did you grow up? Kentucky, Kansas, Kansas City. <laughs> of course, Kansas. Of course, Kansas girls shave. Why? I'm from Nantucket. We grow our hair as long as the trees. Do you know where Nantucket trees. is on the map of America? Name the I didn't state. Even know it was in America. <laughs> Honestly, try to guess. Like all jokes aside, guess what state Nantucket? Nantucket. Is. Gosh, <laughs> um, takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm gonna have to say somewhere in maybe in Maine, Connecticut. Oh, that might be it. I would have said Connecticut. Hey Siri, what state is Nantucket in? Oh man, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Damn it. Yeah, huh? I knew it. Um, what's that one book that was written there? Oh yeah. Um, 
Tom uh, Sawyer? Yes. Was he from there? Wow, I can't believe I guessed that one. That's was some boyfriend girlfriend stuff. Huckleberry Finn? Yeah, Huckleberry is not like a that. good guy, dude. He was always up to like. Have you read the unchanged version? I mean, no, I didn't read it. Oh wait, are you actually for real? I didn't read it. Well, you know what it meant though. He had, he was like friends with this guy. I thought him and Tom, Tom Sawyer were boys. There was a couple guys who were boys, but there was uh, a black guy involved, right? Huckleberry. Yeah. Well, he was the black one. Yeah. In the rewrite, they're boys. But before, they weren't enemies? They weren't enemies. They were... What's well, old back then? I gotta read it. I really No! Re- oh, I shouldn't read it? Listen. Back then. Oh, back then. Yes. Oh, okay. Bruh. It was different back then. Is what I'm saying. You see what I mean? It was like forced to be friends, kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, stay out of um, Massachusetts. 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 Missouri, maybe it was actually, now that I think about it. Mississippi, maybe? So many of those M's. Mama, Mississippi. All I know is millions. M's. Oh, oh, there we go. Arkansas. That's a a Taylor Swift bar. bar. I don't remember much about Missouri, Mississippi, Massachusetts, and those M's. All I'm the only M's I'm concerned about is the millions of fuel I burn in my jet. Oof. Know where you can sneak that into our next album. And honestly, I'm gonna be one to say like, give us an album, Taylor. Mm-hmm. You can't keep remastering. I know okay. it's fun. I know you're having fun hitting the, doing the big hits and and I re- know, I know. reclaiming your masters. But you know, when I heard Karma is a cat, burn on a lap because you like that one, me. didn't you? Hamas in an acrobat. And then I... And what then did I, I spy? Cause I got I, ice spies on there. That's why I liked it, because yeah. it was like, a, okay. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, all jokes aside, that is such a good song, because I spy since she comes into it. It's smooth. Okay, can we do it? I spice and Taylor. What are the spices in a bag? What spices are in spiced peaches? What is autocorrect Whoa. doing? You got weird suggestions. Um, I spice, I spice Hinasto, I spice and Taylor Swift. Um, Karma. Let's do the lyrics, cause okay. Can I do? Uh, you do Taylor and I do. Um, I want to do I spices. Yeah, part. for sure. I mean, I w- I was assuming I was gonna do Taylor. Of course. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta finish my AG one. Okay, finish. Yeah, chug it. Oh my god! It all sank to the bottom. This is gonna be. It's gross. like you're getting ready to sing. You got to get all this fuel, all this, all these vitamins. Oh in. yeah. Oh my god. <clears throat> Being an athlete is hard. Wow. Yeah. All right, hang on. All right, y'all ready to be blessed? You know, in the ears. How do we get this? Oh man, this is a lot, huh? Remix lyrics, because this will actually tell us. All right. I'm going to start it. Karma is that girl like gra. You're talking shit for the hell of it. Addicted to betrayal, but you're relevant. Taylor cusses? <laughs> when off she's the on rib. a song with Ice Spice, she can do whatever she wants. Immediately. You're terrified to look down, because if you dare, you'll see the glare of everyone you burn just to get there. It's coming back around. And I keep the side of my street clean. You wouldn't know what I mean. Because karma is my boyfriend, karma is a god, karma is the breeze in my hair on the weekend, uh. karma is a relaxing thought, uh. Weren't you, aren't you envious that you, for you it's not, uh. sweet like honey, karma is a cat sit, purring on my lap because it, it loves, loves me. me. Flexing like a goddamn acrobat, acrobat. Uh. me and karma vibe like that. Uh. Karma is your checks about to bounce, karma is a fire in your house. And she about to pop up unannounced. And she never leaving you alone. Watch her put her ops on the throne. Got you waving pretty white flags. Being in for the cash. Thinking it'll save you. Now you're switching up your behavior. It's okay, baby. You ain't gotta worry. Karma never gets lazy. So I keep my head up, my bed up. I won't let up, never. Promise that you never endeavor with none lesser, ever, ever. I be dragging that wagon. Karma is a beauty. Winning that pageant. Wow. No, if I was wearing a wig, it would definitely have been snatched by Ice Spice after that verse. Oh, and this is our duo part, okay? Because Karma is my boy. Oh, yeah, because Karma is is my boyfriend. Damn. 
Karma is a god. Karma is the breeze in my hair on the weekend. Karma is a relaxing thought. thought. Aren't you envious that for you it's not? Sweet like honey. Karma is a cat uh. purring in my lap because it loves me. Flexing like a goddamn uh, acrobat. Me, me and Karma vibe, vibe like that. that. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. And I love that they were able to work together after their beef. I think I think y'all had something, you know, King of Pop or something. You know, there's only so much space on the stage, but I love it when women, instead of competing, they collaborate. That's always something me as Travis, I appreciate, which is why I think my band idea was actually a good idea. But, you know, I'm not here to argue here or there. Like Nicki Minaj. What do you think of Nicki, uh, Taylor? Um, Yeah, she's a direct competitor. Um, we're competing for the, for the same eyes, same audience, I'd say. <laughs> the Barbs and Swifts, or Swifties, aren't they? Um, are one and the same. They're one and the same. You guys are pretty much the same people, They're right? the same. I mean, uh, indistinguishable. We're both competing right now. I know Nikki's trying to have a song with, um, BTS. I notice how she... And I'm trying to get in there as well. She so. is? Um, that's just rumors going oh, around in the, in the studio, so. Do not step in a Uniqlo when that thing drops. I'm telling you right now trouble mm -hmm. or pray for the uniqlo workers guys we're gonna do a piece of advice here if you guys um have a question for us a dilemma please give us as detailed as possible of a question i'm talking about my ex-boyfriend slept with my mom i don't know what to do about it he but he has a history of uh schizophrenia and mm -hmm. i don't we want one of those because that's what we're here to solve you know puzzles yeah. That's what we're solving. Puzzles. Yeah, I mean, we'll give you advice on how to make friends in high school as well, but... All right, well, we'll since give we're in the advice segment, one. I'm just going to take this off. Whew. All right, you're going to keep the cap on at least? Oh, there we go. All right, we'll just keep it like this. Um, yeah, out of character pod on Instagram, at out of character pod on Instagram, and also, while I'm here... We do a, a weekly solo episode on Patreon. We as in me alone. I do it every week. We have a lot of fun there. Go check it out, huh? Five bucks a month. Over 70 episodes archived. And uh, we really do have fun there. We really do. I'm sorry. I don't mean to leave out Martin. But it's true. <laughs> what am I looking at here? I don't know. Some of this stuff is hard to read. Hello, out of character podcast. Best comfort pod on earth. To help you paint a picture, my pronouns are she, her. And I'm 21. In college, and I hate kids. I have a brother who's nine years younger than me. 21 minus 9. 13. And he's really annoying and talks a lot. My problem is, how do I tell him to shut up without causing my mental illness and without resulting to bullying, please? He watches slushy noobs with him, so maybe guide him. I don't know. So, this so your brother is 12 years old? You know what? What I'm imagining when I read this, what was that show? That that family that it's all incest and they live together, the Whitakers. The Whitakers. This is reading like a Whitaker reaching out, like my nine year old brother won't stop talking and we're all mentally ill. I Am I know. mad? Are you not imagining the Whitakers uh, here? I have no idea. Like guys, the Whitakers probably what watch do you guys slushy news. Think this advice segment is this is <laughs> we need like real problems. How are we going to dissect? Your brother talks a lot. Yeah, so does everyone else's 12-year-old brother. Really? Oh, here's one. This this young lady just jumped the gun and gave us audio. Okay, this is scary. All right, please no cursing or slurs or anything. Hi, Hamza and Martin. So I'm about to turn 20, and my mom has been getting on my back about still being single, telling me to go on these dating apps and try to put myself out there. But little does she know I've already tried that, and it doesn't work. So... Um, her coming up to me has really been a low blow. It's putting me into depression. So, um, do you have any advice on how to find some genuine guys that actually want to be in a relationship and not just mess around? Because I don't know where to look for them. Side note, Hamza, if you're willing to do long distance, we could t kill two boats. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I give up. Ignore this part. Thanks. Okay, first off. I'm already taken, obviously. obviously. Yeah. Hello, ever heard of Taylor Swift? No. Um, the accent sounded fake to me. I don't know if that's just you. Um, I don't know if you guys. Let me know, y'all yeah. natives. Guys, if you're gonna send a voice message, don't fake an fake accent. An accent. Just be true to yourself. We got a lot going on already, you know, logistically, and we can't add that to the bag. We're right here, 
We're right here. The loyal men are doing this. This. We, we dress up. We sing karma as a freaking fox. Who cares? Because like, it loves me. Honestly. I'll tell you they're not on the apps. Really? Uh, I, if I was going to give a, a woman advice on how to find a good man, <clears throat> genuinely, I'd say give up. I would say go girl. The future is female. Because I can't imagine having, you know, being attracted to like this, this, you know, stinky. Man, we get to look at, you Why know. were you pointing at me the entire, why were, what, what's. Whoa. That? Taylor. This is like a trans, in the show when she does transformations or something. Um, no, there's very gross men, not just like physically um, unkempt, especially if you're young. I can't imagine when you're 20, 21. Options are enticing. Wow. You know, I got plants hanging from my ceiling. You know, I got, pl I literally have hanging plants. Mm -hmm. Men my age aren't doing that. I'm in, I'm in a league of my own. I, uh, what do I do? You know, last night I made pasta, chick with chickpea pasta because I wanted to get my protein in and I made a, a lovely shrimp scampi. Mm -hmm. That's called. What's that called? And he's not in a relationship. He does all that and he's still not in a relationship. Yeah. So it's tough for, for both sides. Grass is always greener on the other side. Does that even apply here? No, all I'm trying to say is stop looking so hard. Just stop looking so hard. You're trying too hard. Oh, yeah. well, this is a taken man. So you can, your stuff is really. Uh, Once you start letting go and stop caring as much as. I'm over here saying set your standards higher and you're saying go lower. Is that what you're saying? You know what? It's a mess. It's a mess. Dating is a mess, and it will be a mess. Yeah, honestly, um, I would say look for lovers. Look for someone just to, that they could tolerate, because that's what it is now. If you could tolerate someone, that's all you need. That's it. Yeah. That's it. There's not a lot of people who I can tolerate. Or everyone can tolerate. You know, as subcultures grow in these veins of hobbies and, and sub and cults, then people diverge and they separate and they, and they convince themselves that they're more different than each other. And it's like, what the heck? 12 years ago, we were all like, we like friends. We like to show friends. That's how everybody was like, I like Michael Jackson and friends. That was all you, like all the hinge all bios needed. would have been the same. All the hinge bios would have been like, I like Michael Jackson and friends. Yeah. And, and jello fruit. Also, how old was she? I believe 21 or something. 21? I didn't get it. That's so fake. Turn 20 and 20, she's about to turn about 20. To turn 20. She's having a crisis about Girl, not what a... You need a few years on you before you even get a real relationship. Come on. And I know. It's good to it's good to have yeah. ideal and idealize and, and, and hope for... Go on some test drives. Something. Find some random people. Ooh. Try it out and leave. Okay. There you go. Oh, this is scary. I spy with my little eye two goblins at Value Village on Queen Street. Oh, no. They spotted us? Someone spotted us and didn't say anything, guys. Lame. Now we're just scared. No, you're lame for that. Yeah, square up. Oh, God. Jenna, Jenny, 24. As of this week. Oh, happy birthday. From Schomburg, Illinois. She, happy her. birthday, Schomburg. Oh, Jenny. Sorry. My first question is about religion. I'm white. My ethnicity is fully Balkan. And I'm 2% Syrian. Would it be weird if I started slowly <laughs> converting to Islam? No one in my fam is Muslim. I think they would judge me. First of all, bro, I don't, asking someone if it's weird if they convert is so... You are not... Are you two feet into this? <laughs> how are you two... How are, how are you gotta... Do you believe this or not? Then convert. Is it weird if I try Islam for a week? I, I don't, don't know. think it's a religion. I, I, literally no. anyone could walk into it. Hop on or don't. That's all you, baby. I mean, if Aiden Ross can convert to Islam, wait, what? Who, who? No, Sneeko, I believe. Sneeko, yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're fine, man. And, you know, white people are accepted everywhere. You're Don't worry about that. My second question is about relationships. Oh, my goodness. I can't get a normal guy to like me because I'm too unserious. Well, clearly. I've been on two dates from Hinge that went really badly because I'm just too funny for these Illinois nerds that like me. 
they get like intimidated or or something and just can't keep up and i get the ick when they try to when i have said this before people said stop being funny on the first day and be sexy and aloof instead of instead but that's just ingenuine what do i do besides just keep looking for the guy with my exact humor because it feels impossible bs martin you look like andy samberg first of all Get a load of this chick, right? Really back. Okay? We're not doing stand-up on the first date. Imagine a guy is actually trying to be funny. Like, actually he's like looking at you, waiting for you to laugh on a, st- on a first date. Let alone you, bro. Chill out. Get to know them. Just talk normal. <laughs> yeah, also, what do you mean you want to find the exact same humor? You want two ex- extremely funny people in a relationship? Awful. That sounds insufferable, and I would hate and that. And any of your friends that ever saw you guys together would probably leave any event that you guys were invited to because they how are you gonna deal with two people who are bouncing off the walls laughing that that's just annoying yeah and y'all wouldn't even like each other no because this you is a rookie be competing yes. It'd be a competition who's funnier it's a rookie relationship mistake across the board to want someone just like you that's like oh you don't know what's going on that sucks if you met someone just like you me and martin just like each other i would never date this guy holy moly I can't get an I I can get enough of him uh, very quickly. What are you doing? I was trying to put, I was trying to put this on fish. Sorry, my bad, my bad. What are you doing? Focus up. Chop chop. Putting a bald cap on Cornish Rex. God damn it. <laughs> um no, no. Honestly, 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 from reading this. Straight up, you sound in, like not good. You sound like a little insufferable. Can I say that? You can say that, yeah. Because it's like chill out, chill out. You don't. You're not that funny, probably. Also, can you imagine anyone? Say, imagine a guy said this. You read this as a guy. I can't find a girl who's as funny as me that can match me. And dude, chill out. And I'm not trying to give you know me- feminist rights over here. I'm not even on that wave either. But I'm on you. I'm on your ass. Chill out. I'm from Illinois, and I know very good men from Illinois. Very. And they're also very fun. Being funny isn't about dishing it out. It's about knowing when it's there. It's about, oh, that is a funny thing. That's called a sense of humor. You don't have to be creating freaking setup and punchlines to be funny. You're a freak. Vent this out. Start a podcast. I'm sorry. You came for us, and we're shutting you down. But really, this is what you need. Don't be, don't be doing uh, your 15 minutes of, of, of material with some poor guy trying to get some freaking monkey. Yeah. Save the, save the comedy for your friends. All right. Yeah, really. I'm not even, if you see me talk, I would never crack a joke to a woman. Cause honestly, most women are funnier than like, I, I also agree by, by and large, I think women are funnier than men. I want, I do want to put that out there. Just sense of humor wise understanding what's funny but that doesn't mean they got to be cracking them all the time you know (sighs) taylor what do you think any any last words really no i agree with what you just said um women are truly funnier than men and it's and you want to know why it's because men are the ones who don't have the 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 awareness they're just going to say whatever comes out of their mouth yeah they're simple people you got to really you're giving them too much credit they are just happy to be there they just a good presence to be around. That's all it is. Like you said, someone like we said to the other person, someone you can tolerate. That's all you want. Mm. That's all you care for. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Well, thank you guys for listening. Um, I'm renting this bike helmet from someone, and they are about to go to work. and And for bike safe, they bike to work. And for their safety, they need the helmet back. So we urgently have to end this episode, and I have to, because we we go full, you know. If yeah. I wasn't wearing this, you'd be like, what's, what is this? What am I looking at? Oh, Travis. Anyway, see you guys next week.